Julius Levon Chambers. Julius L. Chambers learned at an early age the harsh lessons of racial injustice. A white customer refused to pay Mr. Chambers' father for a car repair, and his father was unable to hire a lawyer to pursue the case. That experience in 1948 launched the young man on a mission to help end the discrimination and unfairness that permeated American society. In 1954, he enrolled at what was then North Carolina College. He earned a degree in history, and was elected student body president and graduated summa cum laude. He earned a master's degree at the University of Michigan and then went on to the University of North Carolina School of Law in Chapel Hill, where again he graduated at the top of his class. In 1963, Thurgood Marshall, soon to be named to the Supreme Court, selected Mr. Chambers as the first intern of the NAACP Legal Defense and Educational Fund. He soon established North Carolina's first integrated law firm, Ferguson, Stein, Chambers, Gresham, and Sumter. The firm became a national leader in the fight for civil rights, voting rights, and workers' rights. In 1984, Mr. Chambers left the firm to return to the NAACP Legal Defense Fund as its leader. Had he simply worked as a lawyer until retirement, his career would have been extraordinary. Instead, he chose another path. In 1993, he became Chancellor of North Carolina Central University. Under his leadership, the university grew in size and stature. Student entrance scores improved and the university made a significant turn to modern day disciplines such as biotechnology and homeland security. Mr. Chambers retired in 2001 and was named Chancellor Emeritus. His lifelong determination to do what is good and right for the powerless, for young scholars, for the nation's legal system has made our university our state and our country better.